Hello, my name is Simon van der Beek. I'm an ecopreneur and sustainability consultant. And this time I'm traveling from The Hague in the Netherlands to Sweden. And I'll show you how to do it. you got interested in electric driving after this trip you could well be um, you know what kind of car would you choose well you know like every product I would say in a market it's always the bargain between price and quality or price and uh, the content of what you get and you need to pay specific attention to with electrical cars is what is the size of the battery you need to pay attention to the uh, ability to fast charge. It differs per car how fast it can charge, so how, mu how much kilometers per minute or per hour it can add in your battery. And that simply means that you're either charging for a long time or charging for a short time. Other aspects, of course, are the size of the car, you know, just the regular things that you would also look at with a fossil fueled car. Um, size, comfort, uh, uh, driving uh, systems that help you to, uh, to drive comfortably on long trips. Uh, you know, and there might be specific elements like the Nissan Leaf is a very good car, but on road trips, it's just not really great because of the, the rapid gate, like I explained in the previous clip. So if you want to know specific things, you could always send me an email and mostly I will know whether a certain model has problems or aspects. Before buying this car, by the way, I knew about RapidGate, uh, so it's not that I bought it, uh, you know, in a, in a stupid way. Uh, I did know it, but uh, I thought it was less bad and less annoying on road trips. Uh, generally, if you know the market, um, this car, I think, costs, including tax, about, what will it be? I think 40,000 euros. Now, that's quite, a, quite an amount of money. Uh, but at the same time, if you look at the market, this, this is, you know, about average. This is a, about average price. Now, if you got more money in your pocket, I would now advise a Tesla Model 3. And if you got even more money in your pocket, I would, for example, advise an Audi e-tron or a Tesla Model S. But those are seriously uh, pricey cars and... Um, you know, in, in general, to me, this is about sustainability. There's a lot of research showing that uh, uh, even independent of the amount of uh, uh, electricity you, you put in or the source of the electricity, it will be more sustainable than a fossil fueled car. Uh, one reason for that, by the way, is that it's three times more efficient than a fossil fueled car. So. Um, from a sustainability standpoint, it is a good option. However, if you buy a electrical car with a huge battery and you never really use the range of that battery, that's not too sustainable. That's, you know, like buying a, uh, a castle when you need a house with two rooms. If you don't use it, it's, you know, it's gonna cost your building cost and cleaning cost and water cost, electricity cost. Uh, and that's the same with a car. So my advice always is look at your mobility behavior and see whether uh, which um, whether and which uh, electrical car matches your needs. Um, and I got a very good website for you. It's called the EV database. 
you can just Google on it or I will put the links in the, in the YouTube clip. And uh, that's a very useful website uh, with an overview of all the full electrics available uh, at this point in the market.